everybody. It's Marla Martinson and Karen Dahlman. And me. Hi. <laughs> I've, I've got my uh, Edgar Allan Poe mug today. What are you sipping on? Well, I am still sipping with my cup. That's a parrot cup. <laughs> Tropical. <laughs> Tropical, I love it because it is summer, you know, when we're and we're both. It's tropical uh, tea, is what I'm having. Oh, awesome! And uh, it's very hot where we both are. So after this, we're going to both go jump in the pool. <laughs> yes, yes, well, we are. And, and we're wearing our witches hats, even though it's hot. And and we want to vote. You know, uh, hey, can you guys leave a comment below and let us know if you like the witches hats or not? Yay or nay? Yay or and nay? We want to take just, a survey. And, and, and the reason us. we. The reason we wear them is, you know, we're not witches, but we love the Ouija board, we love the witchy stuff, we love the fun occult stuff, the spiritual stuff, the crystals and everything. Halloween! The what? Halloween! We love Halloween! I've got, uh, I've even got a Halloween mug here with my little Yay. black cats. So we just poke fun at it, we have fun, we're, we're very bright, light, and loving women, but we like to, to uh, kind of dress up and make this the subjects and the videos kind of fun. So let us yeah. know what you think about that. Thank you. So today we're talking about fear and, okay, well, basically fear and healing and what can happen when we kind of get a little hysterical. So I had, a, I had an incident a few weeks ago where I was like, you know, with some of my girlfriends, Karen included, I was like freaking out because... Um, I had had a really bad cold in June, and I, even for my birthday, I was in bed. It was like one of those bad ones where you're just like, let me die. And after that, my armpits, under my armpits started hurting. And it was a weird uh, ache. There was no swelling. There was no hard bumps. There was no, it was just weird. It was hurting. And I was like, oh, my God. And then my back uh, was killing me on one side. And I had gone to Paris and had sit, sat in an airplane and had been sitting a lot. I thought that's what it was, it, it, but it didn't go away. And then I had some queasiness. And so I'm laying in bed, Googling the symptoms and what comes <laughs> up. Oh, um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or, you know, all these things. And then I'm freaking out. And then I have like 3,000 friends on Facebook. And there's a lot of them, sadly, that have cancer. And they will post pictures of themselves or their loved ones getting chemotherapy uh, in the hospital or updates or their friend just died. And these are, some of them are younger, beautiful, vibrant women and they've got cancer, breast cancer. So here I'm freaking out. I'm texting my husband at work. I'm sure I'm gonna die. I looked up the, I looked up mm -hmm. the symptoms and I, I know. And he called me on his break. What, what's going on? And I'm crying. I'm probably gonna die. And, and, and mm -hmm. it, the, you know, I'm freaking out and they kept hurting. So I went and got a mammogram. I went to the, I called my regular doctor. I started doing Reiki on myself every night. I cut out coffee, any little thing. I was just, it wouldn't go away. And I was freaking out. All of a sudden the armpits <laughs> stopped hurting. So well, was it really all of a sudden you did a lot of work? On well, yourself not all well. of a sudden. It, oh, okay. All right, listen, my friend Julie. Hey, Julie. Hi, Julie, Julie. Julie dresses candles. She makes these magical candles, right? And she's just recently gotten into it and learned it. She's got all these herbs. And she says, Marla, I'm going to make you a candle uh, of health. And she looked up all these. She got a spell, um, put herbs on it, and sparkles, everything, and, and told me something to say, this little ritual, and look at the candle. And uh, my armpits had been hurting a long time. And I did it, and, and I swear to God, the next morning, my armpits were fine. I felt fine. And, you know, well, what a coincidence. But, yeah, it could be just coincidence. But at the same time, they had been hurting a long time. And then as soon as I did the candle, it stopped hurting. But I think it was the intention. Yes. So, I don't know. What do you think? Well, this is what <laughs> I think, too. Because we, we, we were communicating through all this. And I was with you when you had some of these problems and stuff. And it was a re it was a real serious thing. You were really really frightened about it. And the more you went and looked on the internet, the more scared you got. So we're trying to bring up the point that mass hysteria is never really good. And sometimes when you think you're helping yourself by doing all this research, you you know it's good to know and look into it. But to just take that at face value, which you got caught up in that a little bit, then you stop and you said, "I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. I'm gonna go check with the doctor." She did Western medicine. She did Eastern medicine. She did the holistic and she did the traditional. And I think. It was the balance of both checking it out so she had, you know, some kind of baseline 
And then she also said, what else can I do within my own power, my own in intentions, what I truly believe in all my healing work that I've been learning all these years. And then I'm going to incorporate even healing work that others do outside of this. Now, Marla, I think the one piece you forgot to mention, though, too, was the assistance of your spirit, guys. Yes, I you was going to bring about that, that up, too. Okay, yes. so, so Karen, um, actually... When Linda uh, Deer and Karen and I were at Linda's house. Or Salvin. I mean, Salvin. Hey, Linda Deer. <laughs> Hi, Linda Deer. We hey, love Linda, Linda Deer, Deer too. We love you. I wish you would have been there that day. <laughs> Linda, we were at Linda Salvin's house, and uh, her guide came through, who's this powerful, amazing guide, and he's always right on. And I asked him about it because we all got a message, and he said, Let's go see a doctor. He said, you know, it's yeah. not serious you're going to be okay but go see a doctor so that freaked me out too because he didn't say oh it's nothing don't worry he said go see a doctor so I'm like oh so then I went on my board and asked my guides and I said you know is it cancer <laughs> mirth to, and she's they said no <laughs> oh they my said, gosh. They, said they and I'm usually not like this I'm not a hypochondriac I'm not but it was something that just like for no reason I had this pain that wouldn't go away so um, and I'm like digging around every day. I don't feel anything wrong. And so they said, no, it's just, um, viral. It's, it's stress. It's from the cold. And they said that. Yeah. And, right. and so I was like, okay, good. Because you'd know. And I asked, asked it many times and they said, no, it was, uh, I was going to be fine. And I was, and I am. <laughs> <laughs> and then she still went to the doctors and checked it out because yes. you want to you want to follow that. Don't don't trust everything do. you get on the board. Yeah. We're real clear about that. But you can augment it again. So she went to the doctors, worked with her guides. She spoke to her guides and her own angel, and spoke to her own guides, which is her own inner wisdom. And then she worked with the healing and different aspects of it. Her own Reiki work. She incorporated it all, and from that she is now hundred percent re in relief. Right. I also for some used time. the pendulum. I got the pendulum because I believe the pendulum oh, good. a lot is our higher self. Uh, uh, coming through what we you know are so I asked the pendulum and it said I was okay so yeah and you <laughs> feel okay now too I feel fantastic um, but but I want to point out that it you know people are putting out everything on social media what's going on with them and so yeah. we see it more and I have had some friends pass away recently uh, and and so and another friends in it is in intensive care right now waiting for an organ transplant and oh. and it's just you know it seems like so I I'm like well who am I uh, it could happen to me you know you think oh no no think don't even go there don't think that but but you know I'm not like invincible so I take right. as best care as I can I but uh, you never know so you know we'll be on to the next realm at some point um, but some things that you know I just wanted to uh, because I do the crystal healing and some wonderful things like I'll sleep with crystals um, amethyst is wonderful um, the rose quartz I've got a nice rose quartz heart which is very soothing and loving and then the selenite's one of my favorite which is very angelic and then yeah. something I like to do is um, I have a Palo Santo water which is uh, Palo Santo is like a it's a wood and you burn it it's like sage it'll cleanse and clear and the water I'll just spray it on and it's so you know heal healing and clears the aura <laughs> very nice yeah and when you go to bed you just put just put your stones that you pick for that evening right next to your bedside like I mentioned before I have a giant selenite and also a um, crystal rock uh, that, that you put they have lights in them and they actually burn and release an energy to them and I just sleep so fine every night. Oh. I have great dreams too. Oh. So just bring that stuff and put it in your room next to you. Now, if you find you have too many crystals around you, they are vibrating, and so you may find it might disturb your sleep. You're gonna have to find that out yourself. But then you know, put them next to you in your bedstand, and if you have to move them, move them further away. But yeah, they they have their own life to them, life properties. I put um in them in well, well, I sleep with one different one every night in the bed with me too. <laughs> okay, you can do that too. Sure, you can wear it on a necklace or have it in your under pillow or however you do it. I, there's the purple Tesla plate, too, mm, if anybody's ever heard of those purple nice. plates by uh, a Tesla, and they will clear your crystals, so you know you're supposed to clear them sometimes, so you just set them right on there, and I even um, set this under the bed sometime while, when I'm sleeping, because it's, it's great uh, um, vibration, so. Oh, that's great, um, and also you can, t if you don't have that, that Tesla pad, which is awesome to have, you can take your crystals and put them in, in salt, like a Himalayan pink crystal salt, and then cover them up and let them sit in there for a while. And you determine a day, two days, maybe it's several hours. Another thing I like to do, and, and this will be with my board as well if I get a new board, I like to go outside and put some dirt on it. Just put the element of earth, smear it around on it, and then wipe it off. And you sing with your crystals and stones. 
And then I also like to bring in the full moon or a new moon. Depends what moon I'm feeling, what I'm resonating with. And then that's when I will also bring out my stones and I might put them outside to resonate. Again, it's, this helps you raise your vibration, but again, also, it just augments you because you truly have all this power within yourself. You're very empowered people. Every single one of us are, and if you can use a stone or a crystal to help augment that, then, you know, by all means, do. Yay. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it there, and we'll see you yeah. next time. Don't Bye -bye. forget to comment.